we have here is mean variance and standard deviation of binomial distribution which is a very important for the examination point of view now we will see the derivation for this mean variance and standard deviation of binomial distribution by the definition of binomial distribution now we will see the proof as we know that the binomial distribution is given by p of x is equal to nc x p raised to x q raised to n minus x so first we will see the mean so in general we know that so general mean formula in the probability is given by summation x into p of x this one already we have seen where x varies from 0 to n this already we have seen in the beginning this is a general uh, formula for mean but what is mean in binomial distribution we will see by simplifying this now which is nothing but so i will rewrite so mu is equal to summation x from 0 to n keep this x as it is and we know that p of x according to binomial distribution is what here enter n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x fine now next step summation x from 0 to n this x as it is so n c x n c x it is given as by according to the combination formula means it is given by n factorial divided by x factorial into n minus x factorial this is expansion of means or ncx formula for ncx is given by in terms of factorial n factorial this x factorial n minus x factorial and this p of x as it is q raised to n minus x as it is fine so i want to cancel this x so we know that x factorial can be written as x into x minus 1 factorial remember this so therefore summation x from 0 to n x into n factorial divided by this x factorial can be written as what here x into x minus 1 factorial into this n minus x factorial as it is into p raised to x as it is q raised to n minus x as it is so this x cancels with this x now summation instead of saying x is equal to 0 we need to see if i put 0 here x is equal to 0 minus 1 factorial is what here uh, we cannot define a value so therefore here value instead of saying x is equal to 0 we need to describe x from 1 to n and this n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial divided by x minus 1 factorial and this bracket can be written as n minus 1 minus of x minus 1 factorial because we are writing the expansion of n factorial as n into n minus 1 factorial because we have done for x factorial we have to change for all so n will become n min n into n minus 1 factorial so x factorial become x into x minus 1 factorial and this n minus x factorial will become out here n minus 1 minus x minus 1 of factorial and into this x will become what x p raised to x can be written as p into p raised to x minus 1 and this q raised to this x n minus 1 can be written as 
what we have the same thing we have to write that is n minus 1 minus x minus 1 now this n is constant p is constant right before the summation that is n p summation x from 1 to n n minus 1 factorial divided by x minus 1 factorial into n minus 1 minus x minus 1 of factorial into p is out p raised to x minus 1 into q raised to n minus 1 minus x minus 1. So, this completely is nothing but I will rewrite it as n p as it is. This complete can be written as summation x from 1 to n. This complete result, this what I am highlighting, this complete result can be written as n minus 1 c x minus 1. So, the expansion of n minus 1 c x minus 1 is nothing but this what I underline into this p raised to x minus 1 as it is q raised to n minus 1 minus x minus 1 as it is. So, this is nothing but again a expansion of binomial or Bernoulli's formula which can be written as as np into q plus p raised to n minus 1 ok that is np into q plus p is nothing but 1 raised to n minus 1 or n p is equal to 1 raised to n minus 1 or n anything will be it is always 1. So, therefore, mean which is nothing but mu is go, given by n p. So, the mean of binomial distribution is n p. Now, we will see the variance that is v. So, general formula for variance is given by V is equal to summation x from 0 to n x square px minus mu square. Okay. I will give equation number 1 for this. I know what is mu. Mu is nothing but just now we got np. We will apply here. Mu value is nothing but what here? Np will apply here will so we'll simplify first term second term we know the result so first term will simplify now we'll pick the first term that is summation x from 0 to n x square px so this summation x from 0 to n x square this what x square we have here we can write this x square as x into x minus 1 plus one x of p of x. Open the bracket x square minus x and plus x is there. It will cancel. We will get back our x square. This is x. Okay. Now, open the bracket. Summation x from 0 to n. Open the bracket with this. We have two terms x into x minus 1 of px plus this x summation x from 0 to n. So, x into summation x from 0 to n x into this px. But this is nothing but our uh, definition x into px. This is x into px. Now, the simplification summation x from 0 to n x into 
x minus 1 as it is this p of x according to the binomial distribution it is n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x plus so this is nothing but uh, you just see so we have started the mean of the binomial distribution as by using this definition and by using this definition we got the answer as np this answer we got np i am writing this directly this is the result of this is what here np fine now the simplification of the next level summation x from 0 to n x into x minus 1 as it is n c x can be written as what here it is n factorial x factorial n minus x factorial okay into p raised to x q raised to n minus x plus n p as it is now again we need to uh, cancel this x and x minus 1 by using this x factorial just see here I will write it as x from 0 to n x into x minus 1 this n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial and this x factorial is going to write, write it as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial and this n minus x factorial can be written as what here n minus 2 minus x minus 2 of factorial into this p raised to x can be written as p square into p raised to x minus 2 into this q raised to n minus x can be written as q raised to n minus 2 minus x minus 2 plus np plus np as it is so this x cancel with this x this bracket x minus 1 x minus 1 cancels so who all constants here n n minus 1 is constant and p square is a constant you write it outside that is n into n minus 1 into p square is a constant now summation x from so here I don't want 0 so you have to write x start from 2 to n now into this n and n minus 1 I have taken out what left here n minus 2 factorial is left divided by x minus 2 factorial is left bracket n minus 2 minus x minus 2 of factorial into p square is outside into p raised to x minus 2 q raised to n minus 2 minus x minus 2 plus np this plus this plus np i am writing here plus np now the final simplification now so i have taken this step again so on final simplification n n minus 1 into p square summation x from 2 to n so this completely this completely can be written as n minus 2 c x minus 2 factorial into p raised to x minus 2 q raised to n minus 2 into x minus 2 plus np so therefore n n minus 1 of p square so this completely going to write it as q plus p raised to n minus 2 plus np which is nothing but 
n into n minus 1 p square this is 1 plus n p so this is the result of x summation of x square p x is equal to n into n minus 1 of p square plus n p we got this result so we'll go back to equation 1 and substitute or else okay this result so equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes v is equal to summation x square p x x from 0 to n minus mu square is our equation 1 so this result we got it as n into n minus 1 of p square plus n p minus and we know that mu square is uh, again what here it is n p whole square so on simplification open the bracket n square into p square minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square so plus n square minus n, n square p square minus n square p square cancels so we left with what here minus n p square plus n p or you take n and p common we have left with what here 1 minus p okay so n p result of 1 minus p is always q why i will tell you so always we know that p plus q is equal to 1 because probability of success plus probability of failure the probability is always 1 so i can say that so the value of q is q is always 1 minus p okay so therefore the variance is given by v is equal to npq so finally we need to find the standard deviation standard deviation is given by So standard deviation is nothing but in short it is SD it is given by square root of variance which is nothing but square root of NPQ. So this is the